I'm T Pain from impatientprogrammer.net, and this is List Comprehension in Two Minutes. List Comprehension is one of the best things about Python, better even than when a Python eats your neighbor's noisy cat. All right, List Comprehension is a way to enclose an expression and a loop within a single line of code, usually within square brackets. Here is a very simple example right here. We have print and then parentheses, square brackets, i for i in range, and then 10, and then in that with the closing bracket and parentheses. And let's go ahead and run that, and we get a list of zero through nine. I said the first part is an expression, meaning it can be more complicated than just i. Now let's change that to print and then i times i for i in range 10. Now let's see what we get. We now get the squares of each of these numbers because we are multiplying i times i. Awesome. With list comprehension, it is also possible to put a condition at the end. Let's add a condition so that the list only holds odd numbers using i modulo two. So here we have our simplified version again, where we removed the times i and added the if i modulo two. Let's press enter. And now we only get odd numbers with one, three, five, seven, and nine. It is possible to put in multiple loops within a list comprehension, but I would not recommend it as it becomes very hard to read. Lastly, PEP8 Python guidelines have nothing to say about list comprehension specifically, but they advise line length be less than 80 characters long. If it's longer, just write it the old way using a for loop to make it more readable. So instead of a line that is multiple lines like this, where it's just print i times da -da -da, some expression, your loop, and then having some weird range, and then having a condition be super long with an and statement in between. Sure, that works, but it's very difficult to understand what the heck is going on here. It would be much easier to read if instead you set up your code like so, by creating a separate list, creating your for loop, condition, and then your expression inside the condition and appending it to that list and then printing that list finally. Much easier to read than that previous line. In the next tutorial, we will cover Lambda in Python. I'm T-Pain from impatientprogrammer.net and keep the dream alive.